It's 9 a.m. in the morning and I can't believe what just happened. Shetsian dropped new components. So many new components. And they are awesome. Awesome in a way that they solve real world problems. Problems we all had with Shetsian. I promise you, you will love them. Especially the last one. Let's dive right in. And the first one is a pretty simple one, but one that we all need and that is so handy. And it's a spinner, just a simple damn spinner. And the even cooler thing is you can use it for buttons. So you don't have to do this manually anymore. You can just use the spinner from Shetsian and combine it with the button. So just spinner and then loading. Well, easy. You might think, hey, I can do this on my own. Yeah. Sure, and it's not hard, but in fact, now it's even easier because it's built in into Shetsian. And you can, of course, even edit the code and replace it with your own loader icon, for example, and then it looks like that. Damn simple. The next is KBD. Maybe you never heard about that, but KBD is pretty, pretty cool. What we can do with that is display a keyboard key shortcut or a combination of keyboard keys. So in the world where everything gets more productive and especially web apps get more productive, we see that, for example, at Linear, and now it's just baked in into Shetsian. And the coolest thing is we can, of course, add this to buttons, tooltips and more. So your button is not only containing a text, it also contains a shortcut to just not need to use your mouse, which is cool because then you're a power user and we all love power users. And now I have one of my favorites, the button group. It sounds pretty simple. It's somehow a group of buttons, but there's more into it. Because sure, now we can group buttons together. That's somehow the sense of this component. But we not only have this simple use case, we also can nest them in each other. And we have this button group separator. And this button group separator is awesome because it allows us to make these, yeah, how are they called? Uh, split buttons. I once had to build this a few weeks ago. I got it from the design and I was like, ah, why is this not baked into Shed? Nowadays, and is looking awesome. You can combine that with, for example, drop-down menus. Ah, that just looks damn good. <laughs> And we not only have a button group, we also have a input group. And this one is also pretty cool because, yeah, inputs are not the same as five or ten years ago. They definitely got more complex because now we have inputs that have to do specific things. Like, sure, this is a simple input, but now I want to have an icon before that. Or now I want to have some amount of tooltips here at the end or some buttons inside of the input component, some prefix icon. There's a lot. And before that new update here, we had to do this manually. But now we have input groups so we can wrap our whole input group in a input group and then we have the input of course but we for example can also add a add-on like this mail icon here that you see right here isn't that cool and you can do so many stuff with that you can even add buttons in there oh i love this one this one is awesome like type to search and then you have the search button inside of the input it looks so clean or that input here where you can copy the text ah that's so cool and you can do so many stuff with it you can put in text labels tooltips buttons whatever you want and you can really really build awesome inputs now with just Chatsian components. I mean, for example, this one is so handy for your input field. Like you just type in your username and your company is already filled out. You don't have to type in your whole mail. That's cool. And that's, by the way, my gaming name. So you actually can build stuff like that just with Shetsian. I mean, if we look at the code, this is just Shetsian components, input groups and magic. And we can just get something like that out of it. I feel like I advertise it a little bit too much, but I really think that these components are very, very cool. So let's move on with some loading states, for example, inside of the inputs. Also pretty nice if you submit something. And then we have a really, really powerful component, field. Field now has so many options. It took me a long time to get it right, but I made it work with all your form libraries, server actions, react hook form, tan stack form, bring your own form. This component just allows you now to build very, very complex forms, which is pretty, pretty cool and can get pretty, pretty complex because there are so many options and possibilities in here. And I rather think that I will make a own video about that. And if you don't want to miss that, you have to subscribe to this channel. Moving on with the item. And this one is cool because we didn't have a component for the items until now. Because most of the time I saw people using the card for nearly everything. But card should be a card. Something with a header, a main content and a footer. But this is now an item. And an item, and it's not just a wrapper. You can see it here. We have more components. We have the item content, description, media and title. And this is organizing it all for you. So you have those clean basic items you can put actions inside of there you can add prefix icons in here and so much more stuff and also pretty cool is like you can just say as child and then it behaves like the underlying element like in this case a link so your items behave like links okay last one last component empty what empty states that's something that gets so much overlooked. What is an empty state? It's something that looks like that. Because most of the time, we design for the best use case. We design lists with bunch of items, with bunch of to-dos. But 
how should this list look if there is no to-do, if there's not a single item in there? That's why we have this empty state now. And this is pretty cool because most of the time this just got forgotten. So I really like that Shetzian is now handling this so we can just show the empty state. Like these cases that we tend to forget very often. And that's it. These components give Shetzian so much more power. And I'm excited to see you build awesome stuff with it. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.